Happy Sunday, HL fam. Welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another vlog. Let me turn down this TV a bit for a second. So today is really exciting because um, you guys know we're Ravens fans and today we play our rival team which is the Pittsburgh Steelers and it is a huge game. This is the first time that we're playing them this season and uh, the Steelers are undefeated and we're only 5-1 and one, so we have a lot riding on this game. In, in all truth, truth and honesty, who do you think is going to win? What do you mean? I, I mean, just because we love our team, that doesn't necessarily mean we're gonna th we think they're going to win. We're going to destroy the Steelers. Ah! <laughs> it's, it's, it's important because we're in the same division. Of course, right. people know that. Right. Well, some people don't. If you live on the West Coast, you might not know. I don't follow the teams on the West Coast. But yeah, we are in the same division, like Henry said. So we trying to we trying to come out with this dub for real. Um, I'm just so excited. I cannot wait for this game. We're sipping on a little bit of red wine. I also got us some pizza. We got Lido's. Um, I got. Let me see. This is Henry's. He got a cauliflower crust pizza with pepperoni, and then I pretty much got the same thing. I got a regular pizza though with pepperoni and olive. Okay, while we're waiting on the game, I just want to highlight, okay, so we got a coffee table. We haven't shown y'all yet. We have not shown y'all yet, but I wanted to highlight this book. This is Homebody by Joanna Gaines. Now, if you ever see this book in Target, <laughs> if you ever see this book in Target, it does not look like it would look this beautiful, but... A little key tip is if you just slip off the book, I can't remember what it's called, like the book, huh? Cover. Like the cover, yeah, like slip off the cover. This beautiful book is underneath, like look at this. It's like pretty and gold and then this texture of the book, I can't even explain it, but this turned out to be a very nice coffee table book and it was only $28 at Target because coffee table books are expensive, so there's that. And then I just got the Michelle Obama book here as well. Um, and then this one is gray. And then the spine just looks like that. Nice and clean. So we are about to watch the game. We will update you guys as the game is going on. Yeah, you know that? It's fourth quarter, two minutes left. 28-24 Pittsburgh. Come on. Cut. He last hold of the ball, man. The ball may have so out of the end, but it doesn't matter. He was short of the mark. Why and didn't y'all run the ball? What's a pass back? On a fourth down yet again. What a play. Watch. You're only looking. You got five linemen. You got these four guys who are like, we can run this right here. Stop. I don't know the fate of so this game. Like we have two minutes left. Philadelphia just got after. possession. He didn't it. It I mean, not Philadelphia. Pittsburgh just got possession. And then Lamar just dropped the freaking ball. Fourth quarter, 59 seconds. Pittsburgh 28, Baltimore 24, and it's 4 and 2. We're waiting to see if Pittsburgh is going to go for the 2 or not. If not, we got 59 seconds of pushback. Go for the 2. To get the two, to get the four, uh, to get the first. They want punt. They got the punt. Get too close. I am so through. What what yard line are we on? Fifty yard line? Is that what he said? I am so scared. We have to win this game. For the Pittsburgh to be undefeated, they're punting. Okay. Come on, baby boy. Let's go! This type of game we wanted to be there. Oh. Let's go! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. We lost. That's crazy. Hey guys, so it is the next morning after a 
disappointing loss to the Steelers yesterday. Um, but right now, I'm just downstairs chilling. I just turned on Netflix to watch the Parkers. Henry's upstairs playing the game, and Anaya is down for a morning nap. So I usually just, like, take this time to, like, make myself some breakfast because I'm telling y'all, Anaya can literally eat the same thing as me for breakfast but if i don't eat at the same time as her she thinks that i have something different so she will literally stand at my knees and keep begging me for my food so it's like yo i need to enjoy my meal by myself so this is what i got i got some um scrambled eggs with cheese and an everything bagel with butter and cream cheese and i put more everything seasoning on it everything but the bagel seasoning on it i don't know what it is I don't know what it is, but lately I have been so obsessed with just plain eggs. Like, if I eat eggs, I usually have to eat, like, a, some type of breakfast meat with it. But lately, I've literally just been eating eggs with cheese and toast. It's just so good. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with it. Mm. I really don't do much to it. I just cook it really, really low and slow. Um, with some like butter, olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, and that's it. But I'm just so obsessed. So I'm going to enjoy my breakfast, watch the Parkers. Um, actually, in a few, like um, within the next hour, we actually have someone coming to clean our home. And I'm just like so ready for that. Like, of course, our home is pretty sizable. So like we keep up with the daily maintenance of it, but we need somebody to like come in like deep, deep, deep clean. And I've always wanted to do this like before the holidays when you have like a bunch of people coming over your house. Ah. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So that lady will be here for a few hours. Um, and then something else that's on my agenda, I need to go to a party rental company and rent the table and chairs for um, Friendsgiving, which is next week. Um, what else? I might as well just go ahead and rent them for Thanksgiving as well. And then probably for Anaya's birthday party as well, because I already know what I want. So it's just a one-stop shop so I can go ahead and get the rental going before the busy season starts. So I don't know if I'm going to do that, but I think I am. So I'll take you guys along with me when I do that. And then otherwise, I'm just kind of like relaxing. So I hope you guys, this Monday is off to a good start and I'll check in with you guys a little bit. Hey guys, so it's the next day. I didn't do anything that I said I was gonna do yesterday. Um, the cleaning lady winded up leaving a little bit later. So um, yeah, didn't get a chance to leave the house. But today is a new day and let me show y'all what a nice doing. Hi, big girl, say hello. Say good morning. She loves to climb onto this. So I popped out. I never showed you guys this, but <laughs> yeah, I popped out. Um, you know, this was the, what do you call this? I don't know, like an activity gym slash like it wasn't a walker and it wasn't a bouncer. But remember when I first bought it, I thought it was a bouncer. Either way, it grows with the child. So I popped out the center that had the seat in it and I put the little base right here and so that way because she's much bigger now like she doesn't need to be sitting in it so and i took off <laughs> mommy and i took off the leg so that it can kind of be low to the ground um yeah you can also leave the what are you eat oh you just threw up you can also leave the legs on and make it like a tall standing table but i kept it like this so that it's lower for her um but yeah she likes it and she does this all day long <laughs> and we can like put her toys on this for her to play with and you know just like have it as a table but um yeah the the lady did a really good job of cleaning our house yesterday <clears throat> like i told you guys we had never done that before so it was definitely different um she did a lot of like deep cleaning things that i didn't think that she was going to do she also like did our dishes which i thought like when i hired her through the service it said she would just load our dishwasher which is what i do um so i thought she was just gonna load them into the dishwasher and she walked like hand wash our dishes so i thought that was cool um and then i had also added on an extra <coughs> yeah i had also added on an extra hi mama for her to clean our fridge and she did a wonderful job with that she like cleaned our fridge and then like organized it i'm like okay sis so yeah we were really happy with the service right mommy 
So now I pick up the camera because <coughs> I'm. Mm, Anaya has two teeth coming in at the bottom, by the way. Two teeth on the side of her, two bottom teeth. Um, but I pick up the camera because I'm about to start it. Uh, I'm about to try to start on lunch. I'm making some shrimp fajitas for ah. Helena. Ah. And while I'm making and enjoying lunch, because I told y'all all she wants to do is eat our food, I'm going to set her up with this activity that I saw my cousin do. Basically, she'll be painting. So I've been, I honestly been thinking of how to get her to paint. Um, if you guys remember when she was a few, like a few months ago, um, I let her paint in our tub with um, yogurt that had food coloring in it. And I just feel like she's too big for that. I for that type of painting. So when I saw my cousin doing this with her son, I was like, oh snap, yeah, I need to do that. So I'm about to show you guys how to set it up. You wanna hang out? You gonna hang out? Oh, okay. Okay. You gonna hang out while mommy, okay. Okay, you gonna hang out while mommy um set up your paint? Your little paint set? Oh, come on. So all you need for this project is some freezer gallon um, size bags. You need some regular paint, and we had this paint from Mother's Day. Remember when we did the sipping paint? So we already had that, and then um, some mini canvases. I got these from Target for I think a dollar and fifty cents. So I got two because I know I want to, you know, allow her to keep doing this. So these little canvases are cute. You can also get all of this stuff from the dollar store as well. All right, so you just take the canvas and put the paint that you want um, on the canvas. So. Some red, put it like in different areas, and maybe like some blue, and a little bit of I'll just do some white all around, and then you put the I think she need a little bit more paint. Then you put the canvas inside of the Ziploc bag. Just like this. Try to squeeze all the air out of it. Mommy. And so now I'm just going to tape it onto her high chair. Just got some regular tape. So that way it doesn't move when she's painting. All right guys, so here it is. So that way she can paint with real paint and create like real artwork, um, but it doesn't get her in a complete mess. And then also, you know, she can't be eating this paint and she doesn't know that. So um, that way she won't put it in her mouth. And so she can just paint on her little canvas. So let me put it inside. Mama, you can't eat it, see? You gotta use your hands. Use your hands to move the paint around. You see it? Yeah, you gotta move the paint around. <gasps> wow, look at pretty colors that you're making. Yeah, you try. You try. Y'all see her teeth. I'm much, you can see them much more now. Look, mama, you try. You paint. You paint. Show mommy how you paint. You wanna try some? You wanna try some with that hand? Just kind of move it around and do what? Oh my God, oh my God. This is already ripped. What the heck? Okay, so I had to add another Ziploc bag on top. I don't even know how I ripped it, but the paint was coming through. Um, So yeah, mama, you go ahead and paint. Yeah, yeah, mommy's gonna cook, okay? And you paint. Look. She keep trying to lift it up. I'm glad that it's taped down. You go ahead and paint, mommy cook. So here are the fajitas. They have shrimp, um, yellow bell peppers, green bell, bell peppers, onions, sour cream, cheese, sriracha, and salsa. Delicioso. And um, I'm gonna put these little, a little guacamole cup on the side. We got these, so that's lunch. Y'all, so she didn't paint much. She really just like literally tried to eat it the entire time. So then you just take the canvas 
out of the Ziploc bag. Oh, trying not to get it messed up. And here is <laughs> here is Anaya's painting. Let me. <laughs> you laughing too, mommy? The here is Anaya's painting. So I'm just gonna lay it out on the Ziploc bag to fully dry. So you guys can try this at home with your fam. So my Nespresso order just came in guys and I wanted to show you what kinds I got this time. I kind of stepped out of the box a little bit with my order this time. So let me take all of these out. I am so excited to try these. It's like I don't even know which one to try first. So I got this one. This is a, um, a holiday edition. It's pecan or pecan however you want to say it biscotti <laughs> so i am so excited to try this this is the one i think i'm going to brew right now and then i also got pumpkin spice cake which this came out at the beginning of october and truthfully honestly i should have ordered it back then but i never did so so i'm excited to try this and i got my vanilla which is my old faithful i always have to get this but look at this packaging it's like so pretty so so pretty okay um and then for my sample i got a vanilla custard pie and a caramel cookie i've had both of these before so i am so excited i'll let you guys know how this one is so this vlog was super random and it was just filled with content from day over day over day so i know it was just like random and all over the place but i thank you guys for hanging out with us and thank you guys for tuning into another video so i did want to tell you guys that the um pecan nespresso pods that i showed you guys i absolutely love them those are my favorite right now hands down so if you guys have a nespresso machine or thinking about buying one for yourself this christmas then definitely get those pods because they are delicious i love it um but yeah that's pretty much gonna wrap up the vlog for today we got another vlog tomorrow we got a lot of vlogs this week um a lot we weren't really able to post last week because a lot of our vlogs are actually sponsored so i'm still waiting for those to be approved um but yeah i hope that you guys had a wonderful weekend i hope that you stay safe and we'll see you guys tomorrow peace if you decide to leave